that's the coolant that I had opened. So yeah, we'll make sure the fans come on. Here's a little uh, tip for you guys. Whenever you're checking out cars, you want your fan to come on. And you want your fan to come on because you want to make sure your car not overheating, all right? All right, we got an AMG GLC 43. Let me know what y'all think about the GLC. Now, it's not the GLE, the big boy, but it's the GLC. And then there's something else that got my attention right here. We got an SL600. We got an SL500. So this is the 600 here. All right, there them fans go. And this is... It's the same thing that was wrong with mine, the suspension, bro. Cost me $1,100 to fix that. <laughs> we Hustle Daily. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Big Play to the Ray, coming to y'all with another video today. And start this video off. I got a scat pack. with no power you seen one scat pack you've seen them all though trust me ain't nothing too much going on with none of them all the same old same old this one got smacked in the front insurance company not that bad though i ain't gonna lie not that bad if i say so myself it's not horrible it's like this one is pretty good well well it did deploy airbags in here so that's the only thing got some airbag deploy but other than that oh i think they got them little they got the things you put on the bottom <laughs> those yellow things that looks like another scat they changed the door on this two doors Looks like they started to fix it. I wonder why they didn't finish it. Nice. Door open. Good. This one don't got no power either. Scat pack. No sunroof in this one either. Oh, white. This one got a couple colors on it. So it looks like it was silver. They put another hood on. Another two doors on. Hmm. Wait, where's our jump box? Can't forget that. Got a jump box today, y'all. Ah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel, man. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all for y'all support as always. Is this my car right here? Hold on. I know y'all like, man, this dude be looking at Hyundai's every freaking video. Yep. They cheat, bro. They cheat. They cheat. 2011 headlight that ain't nothing grill headlight bumper hood i gotta see if that's oh the hood ain't closed though that's not good right i gotta see i, I at least want my hood to close that'd be my thing because y'all remember we be having hoods fly up on us all right, this shit dirty. Let's crank it up though. Come on. Hmm. It says insert key. Okay, we just gonna put the key right here. Insert key. Where do you insert the key at on this? I don't know where to insert this key at. So I probably will have to take this off. Let me, hold on. All right, y'all. I believe that, I believe that if you take this off, I don't have nothing. I don't got a screwdriver or anything to try to get this off. I tried to use the key, take the key out of here and I tried to like wedge it, but it's still saying insert key. And let me see. Yeah, this might not even be the key for the car, honestly. Damn. I don't think this was a good one anyway, by the simple fact that, for the simple fact, rather, that um, 
it won't close. Yeah, I wouldn't need mine to close. So just off that simple fact, I ain't gonna mess with it. Cause you have to pull the pull the front, the um what you call that? The um not the foot frame, the um reinforcement, whatever the hell it's called. You have to pull that to the top and yeah, we're not gonna even mess with that. Um I had another car. Where is it? Our Hustle Nation, I decided to drop a low ticket course for those of you who cannot afford the full curriculum for 147. I decided to drop a course for just $19.99 where I'm going to teach you how to inspect any car, whether from a private party buyer or the auction. These skills you can use for a lifetime and I still use these skills to this day. This is the foundation that's going to take you to a whole nother level when it comes to checking out cars. Learn all my tips and tricks on how I've been able to buy all these nice cars and make all this money. Here are some testimonials right here where you can see how I've been able to help other people in this business. So for just $19.99, click the link in the description below and I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know. All right, and right behind it, we got our Honda Accord here. Y'all know we missed out on the Honda Accord like right before I went out of town, bro. It was so sad. It did me so wrong, but it is what it is. So this looks similar to the one that I missed out on a little bit. But she got a dent here. Oh, this one got this one got pop. Oh, look at the, they made they um they made they uh headline of stay. This one got two hundred thousand though. I ain't gonna lie, I believe so. Let's see. What's the only thing about this one? Yeah, they got. Tire pressure monitoring system, okay. It's got 208,000 miles, bro. Here's our scanner. If you want one of these, make sure you look in the link in the description below. Very important to have, okay? Um, gotta find this thing. Where is it? Oh, it is over there. All right, so seeing that it has 200 on the dash, we don't got no um, gas in here. But man, I should get, with 200,000, I should get it cheaper, but I don't even know if I wanna mess with it with the 200K, what y'all think? Oh, okay, it doesn't have any codes. Let me see. Yes. All right. Let's look at another hood. I'm gonna pass on this one. I, well, no, 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 let me not say I'm pass on it yet. I gotta, I gotta make sure. But I'm wanting, wanting to pass on it though, I ain't gonna lie. It's not, okay. It's not hot, that's why I opened that. Never open this while it's hot. All right. And it wasn't hot. Let's move it backwards and forth. Back, back, forth and forth. Back, back, forth and forth. I tell y'all all the time. Let's see what's in the trunk too, cause you might see something in here we don't like. Some blue devil or something crazy. Some roaches or something. <laughs> you feel me? But I want to let this one go, but it's something telling me let me do some more research. All right, so let me do some more research. I'm gonna be right back. All right. All right. I got a little bit to check out, but uh, y'all remember when I told y'all I went against my auction? Was that this location? Oh, it wasn't this location. Remember when I told y'all I went against all my auction rules with the Hyundai, the one that I'm driving right now, the Hyundai, just like this one? 
If y'all watch me, y'all know which one I'm talking about. Just like this one. Just blue. Um, I, <laughs> it's like I normally wouldn't, but I don't know. I, I think I'm going to take a chance on it, just like I did the Hyundai, bro. Um, only two screws. All I'm going to need is two screws, some gas, and shoot, I should be riding, and maybe some oil, because I don't know if it got oil in there. Um, let me make sure this thing opens up. If it don't, I can pry it, pry it open. Yeah. I'm going to go a spider. He's gone. Um, but yeah, 200,000 miles, 208 thousand as a matter of fact oh we got some radio plan two hundred and eight thousand miles matter of fact the ac works the heat works um i could put some more safety pins right here how oh, they got it you know what i mean put some more right here what is that hanging? um it's clean right it's really clean if y'all want that scanner make sure you look in the link in the description below i got it on there for you below and um i'm gonna finish that's a seat belt light okay yeah i'm gonna finish looking at it i should be able to get this one cheap even way cheaper than 2500 like the last one sold the last one sold which was over there i wonder if it's still here the last one that sold um i missed out on it man just because i didn't click the button in time and sold for 25 out the door that's like it had 140,000 miles so imagine what i could probably get this one for with 208,000 miles on it you know what i'm saying i just gotta make sure let's look up under it let's look up under it I might have to go take this freaking jacket off. It's getting a little hot. Let's see. Ah. Okay, I don't see no oil leaking or anything. Let me see what this is. Hold on. Ah. Oh, that ain't nothing. Okay. That's the coolant that I had opened. So, yeah. We'll make sure the fans come on. Here's a little uh, tip for you guys. Whenever you're checking out cars, you want your fan to come on. And you want your fan to come on because you want to make sure your car not overheating, right? Make sure y'all head on to whdacademy.com, man. I got all the tips and tricks for you. I see some smoking. Did I do that, y'all? I mean, I did open this, so... I want to say I got a little bit on the motor, which is causing it to smoke. So now this is gonna have to, this is gonna actually, what's that noise? Oh, that's the belt. Um, now this is actually gonna cause me to sit here longer and make sure this, this mug ain't smoking because that's another thing I don't buy. I don't buy cars that be smoking and I don't be buying misfires, you feel me? So I'm gonna spend more time with it. I thought I was done, but I need these fans to come on for sure. And then we're gonna be done. So I'm gonna just spend my time with it, make sure everything's good to go. And uh, we're gonna go to the next car pet. All right, there them fans go. So we good to go, y'all. We good to go on this one. And it was me that uh, caused that um, that um, that smoke. So we're gonna take a chance on this one again. Going against all my auction rules, bro. But we locked in with this one. So on to the next. On on to the next one. All my cars are like right by each other today. This is great. So we got a Hyundai. My boy cussing up a storm. Uh. Mm, my bad, y'all. Yeah. I'm, I'm down there listening to the main conversation. He cussing up a storm. He talking to somebody. Uh, I don't think this is uh got power. Nah, let's keep moving, y'all. All right, y'all, check this out. Got a Toyota Camry. This Camry, um, this Camry. Y'all let me know. 
I kind of, I want to say this Camry don't sell too good. That's what I'm leading to. And it looks like, damn, this needs to be pulled up, bro. Let's see what we got. It doesn't even have power. Of course it does. I think it's about to sound like a bee swatch. Hmm. Let me hit the gas. Kind of stop. Now this motor. I know you gotta wait till the oil come up, I know, but. Might be all right. Might be all right. 150 on the miles, 2011. Turn all right. Look at that. Might not be hard, but yeah, this might be too much work for me, bro. And I'm a one man army, man. Remember, y'all, your boy trying not to go to Rich no more. I just want Rich to paint. That's all I want my boy Rich to do. My boy Rich do excellent, great work, but it takes away from my pop profit when I'm flipping cars and we can't have that. So not saying that I would need to go to Rich for this because I probably can go to Kev and Kev would help me pull this, but I'm not trying to go to nobody, bro. And especially not for this car. Like if it was for like something that I really wanted, then yeah, but we're going to pass on this. Let's turn this car off. What's going on, Hustle Nation? Just want to tell you guys about this auto ASAP research tool that I use to find out what's the history on all these Copart and insurance auto auction cars. It gets to tell you the auctions, how many auctions it has been to, the mileage, if the car has been staged by a dealer, as you can see. So if you would like to use this research tool, make sure you click the link in the description below. All right, let's see what we got over here. This old school caught my eye. And then after this, I gotta go take these clothes out, bro. It's getting kind of hot. These are the ugliest things they came out with. Old school Chevelle. I mean Corvette, I'm tripping. Stingray. Stick shift. Collectible. Drop top. Only go 160. Stick shift. Here's this one. 64, 1964. Long front end. This one's in excellent condition. I doubt it got power. That's why I ain't even. Old, old schools don't ever have freaking power. Ugh. Uh, but you never know. Let's see. This one. The other side. There we go. Wait, if it's not that one. Hold on. All right. Nah, no, I didn't crank up. It ain't crank up, man. And we got a track hawk. But a track hog boys. This might look like it'll crank up for y'all. 2018. Got the big roof. Got the red seat belts in the back. Even got the speakers right there. Uh, radio's gone. Oh, 
the track hawk don't want to crank. There you go, the tracky. Now oh, kind of rough though. Kind of rough. All right, let me see if they got a price for this one for y'all. All right, this one, this one not even for sale yet. So, yeah. All right, let me go take some of this stuff off, man, and then I think I got one more car to look at. All right, we got an AMG GLC 43. Let me know what y'all think about the GLC. Now, it's not the GLE, the big boy, but it's the GLC. Would y'all take this? Let me know in the comments below. It's like Mercedes heaven out here, over here in this area. They got a lot of Mercedes. <laughs> Looks like something going on with the suspension, though. Nice red seats. It actually smells like water in here. It smells just like water. I don't got no power. What y'all think about the GLC though? They nice, they not nice. Let me know in the comments below. And then there's something else that got my attention right here. We got an SL600, we got an SL500. So this is 600 here. Ooh, got hit pretty bad. I ain't never even know they had a SL six hundred. Oh, I thought that was a wing. <laughs> I thought that was a wing. Looks pretty much the same as the five hundred. So here's a five hundred here. I remember we had an SL before. It's O three. Yeah, they pretty much the same. And this is this the same thing that was wrong with mine, the suspension, bro. Cost me eleven $1 hundred dollars to fix that. Mercedes, Mercedes. Mercedes, Mercedes, man. Alright, let me go take this jacket off. <laughs> 